Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullet Tell. And this is Tell of Log 42. That's pretty cool. Um, today is Sunday the 15th of September. And quite a lot of stuff happened today. Well, no, actually, not really. But I'd like to say that, it, that things happened. Um... Today I woke up at 6.30, that's 30 minutes later than usual. What in the world is happening? Um, also today, my mother and I, we went for a run. Well, I went on a run. I ran seven laps around the sports track. 2.8 kilometers. And, um, my mother, she walked, she was in pain. We were going to go for the rest, of, we were going to go to the gym afterwards. But she was very, very painful. She was in pain. So we didn't go. We just went home. We got a can of monster and then we went home. I got a can of Ultra Paradise. She got a can of Ultra Peach again. Um, we had this risotto for lunch. My dad bought some risotto from this place. Ready, uh, micro- uh, actually no, not microwavable. Uh, ready to ready uh, you put it in the you put it in the oven and then it gets cooked and then you can eat it so we had that for lunch but it was um it was pesto in it and pesto is pine nuts I'm allergic to nuts so I got kind of an allergic reaction there was also um already in there I've never had that before perhaps I was allergic to that but I was allergic to something in there because, um, I, as I was, like, trying to eat it, like, my throat hurt so much. And I was just like, oh my god, no, I'm not having an allergic reaction, am I? Um, and so then I went into the, to the restroom and I went into the mirror. And I looked in the mirror and I looked at my throat and I shone my, my phone torch into my mouth. And yeah. I'm bright red. That's what happens. It goes like bright red and bubbles are there. Like there's a lot of holes or circles in the back of my throat and it's all red whenever I have an allergic reaction. It's strange. Um, and then I went down there and then I was like, okay, I'm feeling sick. Thanks for the risotto. But I didn't want my dad to be mad at me. So I just went back into my room. Well, I got an ice pack, and then I went back and down into my room. I had my eye. Then I started feeling, like, really bad chest pains. Like, what in the world? Chest pains. I mean, sometimes I feel nice, but this time it was more painful. Like, I was legit clutching my chest, holding on for dear life. Like, what? 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 And then I, I checked my heart rate. 90 beats per minute. That's like... That's like 50 beats more than what, than, than usual. And I, I thought that was weird. Um. I say, yeah, super fast heart rate. Um. And my throat hurt and my chest hurt. Uh, I took some antihistamines. Some way breaks and that helped. And then I just, I, I drank some water. And then I laid on my bed. I felt better eventually. And yeah. See how that happened. I feel a bit better now. My throat is so painful. But not as much as it was a few hours ago. Um, after I, f I finish recording this, I'm going to go back to watching House. I watched a lot of, I watched like a bajillion episodes today. I, I have two more episodes left. Then I will be up to season three. Let's get it. It's actually, it's a really interesting show. I would recommend it if you haven't watched it already. Um, medical dramas are cool. I wonder, is being a doctor really what we really like medical dramas? Is that, is a medical dramas accurate? I don't know. I should be a doctor when I'm older or a surgeon. Find out if that's really what it's like. 
I know it's not a stupid idea wanting to become like thinking about becoming a surgeon or something because for because of musical dramas um because they're quite interesting and also my entire life I've said this on a bunch before but like like medical stuff it's always fascinated me a few years ago I remember I literally used to make like um uh, slideshows or presentations uh, vividly describing phlebotomy procedures and craniotomy procedures and then I sent them to my teacher and ever since I started sending to them so, like this was years ago my teacher Mrs. V I, I sent her a bunch of these presentations that I made on like different medical procedures and then she just started acting kind of awkward around me, and I wasn't sure why, and I was so totally confused. Um, so I asked my friends about it. Some of them refused to tell me what, 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 why, why was, why everyone was getting so awkward about them. And so one of my friends told me, Tawa, you, it's, it's, you put gore in this. And I was just like, how else was I supposed to explain? It's a craniotomy procedure. What what was what images were I was I supposed to put in there? Of course I was gonna show the real thing. How else are other people gonna learn? Also, what's wrong with it? It's inside you. It's in everyone. There's nothing wrong with it. See, so yes, I found I found that very confusing. Um, but I, I guess they just weren't cool like that. They just didn't understand. Maybe they, maybe their minds couldn't comprehend how to do brain surgery. So they just, they just became sad. I think, I think that that's why. They are not a, 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 as advanced as I am. I actually know what I'm not advanced. They're just behind that. I think I think there's a lot about things. Like, you know how the teachers always say, like, they always praise me for being able to, like, complete my work really quickly. I don't do my work quickly. Everyone else just says they work slow. I don't have anything else to say today. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm going to school tomorrow. I think that, that will be fun. Um. We're gonna do practice for cross country. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all my stuff to Bye bye, social.